What is up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I'm back again with Pickup's video. Um not it's it's not necessarily my biggest pickup but it's gonna be a what I like it's gonna be quite a, a little bit of a rare um pickups. I've got some comics, DVDs, some games. Uh five games, four box sets of DVDs and some comic books. Um, hope everyone is doing okay. Um, hope everyone's all doing uh, all good. So, um, uh, so the pickups. Uh, so the pick the first, I do cut the comics. For two of these, you one, one of these, one of these you, you would have seen if you've seen my comic review. The other one, or he, you've seen both of these, you follow on Instagram, but obviously one of these you will have seen because of the review. I will do the next issue soon, and that is Star Trek Year 5, Issues 2 and 3. Um, been really enjoying the series, to be fair. It's been really enjoying it. It's, especially as I'm getting into Star Trek a bit more, and comic books, it's sort of, it's worked perfect timing. It's, especially for that sort of era, it's the... The original series, it's just really you can point you can like you can watch the um original series, then the animated series, then, then read that. Um, in, I don't know if that's canon to the actual proper series, but it's it's I'm 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 really enjoying it. The next sort of comic books is a big pack of bolt from my local my local store. I actually picked up today. Um. It's, I saw it because I thought it's back of four, it's a nice little run. Um, I don't actually know when it was released. Um, this is back of four, and that is the, the next Batman Second Son. So that one's two or four or four, and there's two or four, and I think that the other, the other two will be inside. Um, so me being a massive Batman fan, I was here wanted to pick it up. Um initially I was looking for, was looking for originally Batman Metal. Did have any in, so I might buy the big um a graphic novel, not graphic novel, the um Well basically every issue is in one book sort of thing from Hayes and Vay, it's like fifteen quid. But me I I did I'd rather these type of issues if I'm being honest. Um I don't know why. Um, but yeah, that's, that's a good read, at some point after I've done issue for Star Trek, I'll probably move on to them, until I get a few more Star Trek issues, so yeah, um, I'll move on to the box sets, one of these I'm not sure I've shown, but obviously it goes with why they were box sets, so I'm pretty much them sort of thing, um, that's the first season of Gotham, I really, I, I, during the, one of the lockdowns, I, I, I watched pretty much all the Marvel MCU films in order. Then I've done the X-Men, and I've pretty much done much virtually all Marvel films. The top I need to watch, but pretty much all, I need to watch Wonder Woman, the new Wonder Woman, and not New Mutants. I've done pretty much all of them apart from them, so, but I wanted to do the TV shows. So I started with that. Um, third season, I have ordered the second season of CEX, um, today, so I should come at some point next week, um, there's only five seasons of that, so not too bad, um, this I'm quite surprised that I didn't know about, I've never heard, I didn't know this was a thing, it exists or whatever. Like when the Gotham Witcher came out, people knew about knew of it. When the Harley Twin Poison Ivy cartoon came out, people knew about it. This, even though it's not specifically Batman, but Batman technically related, never knew it was a thing. And that is the first season of Pennyworth. Or the is Alfred, or was he Alfred, Alfred Pennyworth, or was he before 
basically become the butler, basically. Um, saw a few trailers on it, and it, and it, looked, it looked quite good, actually. Um, and I think, it, for me, I've always liked Alfred. Um, I've like for me, my two favourite Alfreds are Michael Caine and Michael... Oh, I always struggle with his name. I think Groff, Groff, Groff. He was like in the first one of like, it was in two of the nineties um Batman films. I really liked him. Um I think he was in one with Um I was watching that one I think he was in and another one. But him and Michael Kane are my two favourite um Alfreds, so I was quite surprised to see that. That, that yes, that is, for me, I can't wait to watch that. And the last one, I have all of it, the next season two or three of this. There's only eight seasons, apparently, and that is Arrow. A lot of people who, the two reasons I want it, I want, I got this. I can find this one quite cheap. And the second, oh, three reasons. Fairly quite cheap, this first season. Heard that it's quite good, and Deathstroke's in it. Um, so I, obviously, me being a massive Deathstroke Dish, fan, had to pick that up. Uh, now let's move on to the f games. Actually, I've got the five, six games. I'll do the loose Game Boy Advance game, and that is X-Men Reign of Apocalypse. Um, with my new photo, I did a new phone. Um... So basically, how I'm seeing it flipped is pretty much how you're going to see it. But I'm, I might do a bit of editing so it flips, it looks normal to you. I don't know why I'm mentioning this, but it's. If I mention it, it's in my, what I see is reversed. But X Men Reign of Apocalypse looks quite good, so I had to pick that up. Um, Next four games are PS4. Uh, do that one last. These first three I got at the same time. I've done games two for three. So and one of these, one of these games I've wanted to get played properly for a while. One of these I got. I love the series. One of them I it was a freebie sort of thing. So the one I wanted to play for quite a while was is uh, Blair Witch. I mean, I played the I mean I played the first bit of it. Really enjoyed what I saw or played. Wanted to, I want to finish it. A lot of people were sort of touching down on it, um, but I, I it's me. I don't listen to that shit. Uh, next thing is in a series I love, and that is Sniper Elite V2 Master. And the free beat was Eternal Blade Two. Um, it looks quite good actually, to be fair. It looks like a decent freebie. But if, it was, if you play it, it plays it every now. Uh, so I don't know if it's good or not. I know it's worth, I don't know how to. Uh, if, it's, if it's worth playing, basically, let me know. This last PS4 game, before I get into the final game, which is my video game. But the, this game is. It's, it's strange how the VR works in the sense that two games I've got in my collection are technically big, in a sense, franchises that are all called the fine. One was Doom 3 VR, which you think being a Doom game would be quite common to find. And this, this was a game that a lot of people when the VR came out. Right, you have to play, you have to play, you play, you play, play this, that, you play, you play, you play, and that is Batman VR. I have started it. Um, a lot of people, when they talk about Batman VR, they sort of talk about when you put on the cow, you look in the mirror. Right? I enjoyed that bit, but do you know what bit I personally enjoyed a little bit more than that? When you go into the Bat Cave for the first time. I probably enjoyed that more than actually put it on the, the towel. Um, I enjoyed I don't know, I had a little booty in the mirror. But, 
I probably enjoyed the, going into the back cave more than the, actually putting the back suit on. You do have the option to play it with or without the move controller, so I am doing it without the move controller. I'm enjoying it so far. And finally, my final purchase, or actually, I picked up today. It is a Rita game. It's personally, in my collection anyway, which you can see behind me, compared to a lot of people, ain't that big. I don't have many special editions, especially for the Rita. But for me, this is probably my favourite um, special edition. Not necessarily because you get the cons in the box, but more towards the way how good it is to how beautiful the art style is to display. Um, and that game is Fate Exterior the Umbrella Star. Now, the art, I think it's, I think, yeah, so really I can take that off, the character picture in the back, but leave the actual art on the front, which I quite like, but I'll be keeping the sleeve on. Sorry about the glare. Uh, so I'll take that off. So, are you still doing something from glare? That, I think, for me, is probably my best looking, um, clinic edition. Or well, best let edition next to my Jam Bob, Jam Bob one. Also, that's what you got at the back. Um, when I actually so picked this up today from the retro right now, and when we discussed this, we pretty much said this special edition. He said he, he, had, he had a bit of struggle. He was struggling for pricing initially. He was like, I think he didn't. He couldn't find many on on nine. Was it when I actually looked on YouTube, but unboxings or whatever? This I think I I only found one video. There's obviously there be others, but I only I initially saw one. Um, but I think mean, overall, I think mean, the normal game is thirty two pounds from CX. I paid I was a little bit more than that, but I still paid a good price. Um, I might do an unboxing. I know it's like a four or five year old game, um, which I might do, which is if you guys want that, if you guys want to see me unbox this, please comment below, um, and yeah, I'll do that, um, and yeah, so that is it guys, that is, um, that is my pickups this time around, I thought I had to do I need to eventually do a pick up video at some point. Um, so it, seems like it does seem like quite a while since I have done one. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if there's any of the games you recommend me rush to sit down and play first, please let me know. The TV series I bought. If there's any, if you also have watched any of the Marvel shows, DC shows, and any you recommend, any you recommend I buy on DVD, let me know. Some comic books. Anyway, I'm getting like I said, I'm getting all comic books. I'm getting in comic books. So, was it so from what you've seen me pick up? Any recommendations? Always a plus in my book. And yeah, that's it, guys. I hope to see you guys very soon. Ciao for now.